All right, so I'll ID myself. Here's my mug just in the shot. I'm Brian Weisbrod of the uh, Tech Room Robotics Club, and this is my version of the uh, Zumo uh, Sumo Bot um, unboxing. I've had it out of the box, but uh, here it is. It comes in a nice bubble rack wrap, wrapped very nicely. Come on, little guy. There you are. Hopefully you can see that in the video. I don't have a monitor. See that until later. I haven't talked to it yet with software. What I'm going to discuss mostly is uh, the software prep for this guy. Uh, you go to the Pololu page for the bot, and that's the best thing to do. And under resources is where you can really get started on the software side. Obviously it's pre-assembled. There is no assembly to do. The resource page talks about both the library, uh, the Arduino library for the software, and the drivers. So I ended up installing the library first, and there's a note in there to watch out for, and it says if you have um, an Arduino IDE past 1.6.0 or something for the version, that you can just pull in the library and you don't even need to download anything. I didn't know that. Uh, you could do that, but it's great. It's so automatic. It's so nice. You don't even need to download any files first. So I uh, opened my later version of the IDE. I pulled the library right in. And when you do, and then uh, you can look under examples uh, for ZumoBot, and there's all kinds of beautiful software uh, there ready to go to try out different components and get things done. Um, there is one there called Demo, which is a great place to start. But the libraries themselves, of course, won't let you talk <clears throat> to the robot. There's some things uh, on the driver side you need to do. And so it talks about you know, which version. I'm a Windows shop, obviously. So um, I downloaded uh, the Windows piece uh, and unzipped it. And then there's a README there, which, of course, is the first place to go. And the README uh, down in the second half of it talks about the various things to do. And it's a combination of uh, manually copying files to the proper location uh, so the Arduino IDE can get it, the drivers, and also a small install. And the install just takes a second and it's done. Um, from there, uh, I, I would technically be ready to go, at least ready to try this out, and that's what I'm going to do. Along the way, though, it looked like um, getting started in GitHub is a good thing because GitHub, it looks like they've uh, deposited software up there and um, version control is good. And who knows, maybe we can get something going up there if we can all log on to GitHub. So then you go, uh, what I will do is go to the IDE and see if I can talk to the bot uh, and uh, download the demo because the demo looks like the obvious place to start as I said. So I'll get back to you after I try that.